Greetings to all IT service management professionals and enthusiasts. My name is Dmitry Hrib. I'm a content creator for Divinity. We are an Atlassian Platinum Enterprise partner with more than 14 years on the market. Over 5 million people in 64 countries are benefiting from our apps for Atlassian products, including the likes of DHL Express, Stillwater Insurance, Viceo, and Echo Investment. We believe that technology is the way to increase the team's performance and deliver business results to companies around the globe. Today I'm going to show you the best way to manage issues for customer support teams, which is queues provided by Jira Service Desk. I will show you how it works in general, what the limitations of default Jira queues are, and how we enhance them with both usability and security of service operations. After a short demo, I'll go through most commonly asked questions about the app and provide you with answers to them. Let's get started. When you work on a big and complex project with dozens of requests to deal with, it can be quite challenging for the support team to get through all of them every day. Therefore, the issues are grouped and managed in queues, which help categorize and prioritize the tasks. A queue is basically a list of issues which are displayed upon particular criteria, issue type, status, due date or a custom label, to name a few. This saves a lot of time for the team and simplifies the workflow greatly. Jira Service Desk, by default, offers a selection of pre-configured queues which help users organize issues. You can edit them or even delete if unnecessary and create the new ones instead, tailored to your needs. This is a fantastic idea, but unfortunately the default Service Desk queue management tool has got significant limitations in terms of features provided. The queues are available only for one project at a time. The queues are visible only to project admins and service desk agents. And the issue list view cannot be customized, though you can change the columns shown inside each queue. This lack of features slows down the workflow a great deal. At the Dizer Enterprise Day held last year in Spain, our senior apps manager Kate Pavlak told a story about Alex who showed up for her first working day as a customer support specialist and got quickly frustrated with the amount of queues she saw at her service desk. To find anything, each time she had to reload the project, wait for all the queues load and then search manually for what she needed. These actions tend to eat up too much time and most IT specialists know well how important the reaction speed is for the support team. We rely on Jira heavily ourselves, so it had been the exact same feeling our support had experienced before we designed the app. Aware of these flaws, we brought the solution up to the next level and created the queues for Jira Service Desk app. We added a couple of features that strongly improved usability, as you can see in the following table. We expanded the advanced jQL filtering options to create cross-project queues, and it works for all types of projects in Jira. This enables using queues also for the issues related to development process, marketing activities or human resources purposes, and gets rid of the need to get through every project one by one. It is especially useful if you need to handle multiple customer portals. As I already mentioned, only Service Desk agents and Jira administrators can see the queues by default. We made them visible to all the user groups and also added a configuration possibility. This means that every part of the team sees only what's relevant to them. You can restrict the developers to the development issues, let your system administrators handle hardware and software requests, or remind the HR department of their specific tasks. Like I also said previously, with default Jira tools, there's always a moment when you find yourself staring at an endless list of queues while being interested only in a couple of them. This can happen to any project, especially a bigger one, so we've added the possibility to group your queues, as well as hide unnecessary ones. There are also a couple of subtle improvements. The queues on the list can now be copied, so you can implement minor adjustments without resetting the queues from scratch. You can also import queues from other projects created for the default Jira service desk and edit them locally without affecting the root ones. To clean up the list quickly, you can delete the queues in bulk. Don't forget about queue list reordering. Generally, Jira administrators can set up the list view to make it more ergonomic, but what we added to that is the ability to sort the queue list for every user by any column displayed, like SLA or priority. This improvement allows to find the needed issues much faster, which is very handy in case of having a large service desk project. Now, as we went through the differences briefly, I'll show you how it all looks like in Jira. So here we are with our service desk project opened, and we see the issue list. I am logged in as a project administrator, so I can see the default service desk queues, as well as manage them. 
Let's dig into that a little bit. If I hit the Qs button on the project side panel, the whole menu will appear. From here, I can switch the default Qs to display, like all open, unassigned issues, incidents and more. By hitting the new Q button at the bottom of the list, I can create a new queue, configuring the issue filter and the relevant columns to display. Let's say I'm a sysadmin, and I'd like to see only unresolved hardware and software issues in my custom queue. To do this, I choose Purchase and IT Help issue types with unresolved status. If I hit the Advanced button next to the issue filter, I'll see it as a jQuery query which I can modify further. There are some irrelevant issues on my queue right now, which were created for testing purposes. So I can add another condition, which will exclude every issue that contains the word test in its summary. Then Jira will check my spelling, and if it's correct, it will update the issue list to show the query result. I don't need to know when the issue was created, nor when it was updated, but I'm interested in who needs my help and what kind of help it should be. So I delete created and updated columns and add reporter and issue type instead. I want the issue type to be on the left next to the issue key, so I simply drag and drop the issue type column to where I want it to be. When I'm satisfied with the result, I press create, and I'm done. That's basically all I can do by default in my service desk. Let's take a look at the Qs app and see the difference. To start using the app, simply download it from the Atlassian Marketplace and install it according to the instructions at the Installation tab. After the installation, you'll see another Qs button, this time at the main Jira side panel. Hit this and you'll get straight into the app window. Now let's try to create a queue for the same purpose as previously. When I hit the plus icon, which stands for creating a new queue, I see the new visible to groups field and I'd like to restrict my queue only to the Jira administrators group. The issues to show field is already presented as a jQuery query, so I can type the filters in there. But I don't want to duplicate manually a queue that already exists inside the project. So I cancel this, hit the three dot icon and choose import queues. In the appearing window, I choose my service desk project, select my new hardware software queue and press import. Voila, I've got an independent copy of that queue in the app. Then I press the three dots again to choose enable reorder and drop it wherever I need. And what if I want my queue to display issues from more than one project in Jira? No problem, I can do it by adding project inline into the query, which doesn't work in default Jira service desk, and then specify the projects I'd like to see the issues from. I can either type in the brackets and select the projects from the drop-down menu, or type in the project key. But that's not enough for me. I want another copy of this queue, which will be displayed to every service desk user, to help them see the info that's relevant to them. So I click copy, and another queue with the same name appears on the list. I'll rename the original one to new hardware software admin for the sake of clarity, and then edit the copy to be available to the Jira Service Desk users group and contain a slightly different set of columns. Having some kind of a structure on the queue view helps finding the right requests and resolve them faster. Let's see how we can clean up the queue list and make it easier to navigate. To do it, I go to the three dot menu again and choose Edit Queues Groups. A window appears where I simply put in a group's name and then drag and drop my queues to it. Then I can collapse or expand a group on the list, which dramatically increases the usability of this solution. Another way to remove unneeded and distracting queues from sight is hiding them. As I save the user's copy of the new hardware software queue, I don't need it to be on my list anymore. So I click the eye icon to move it to the hidden folder. An additional benefit from hiding queues is that the hidden ones are not refreshed, so there's less risk that Jira will crash or slow down due to data overflow. However, if a good chunk of your queues is outdated, you can simply delete them all at once. On the three dot menu, choose delete queues, check the ones you don't need at all on the following screen and confirm the action. Another cool thing that this app does is enabling me to sort issues inside the queue by any column there is, simply by clicking on it. With this, I can group issues by key, summary, or for instance, SLA. It becomes especially useful when there are hundreds of issues on a single queue and you need to find something really quickly. We've got this app developed for both server and cloud versions of Jira. They are practically the same in use, the only difference between them is licensing process. 
For cloud, it is as simple as a single click on the Add button. For the server instances, you have to add or attach your licenses manually. The process is well guided by the software though, so I assume you won't have problems with it. To sum it up quickly, with our dedicated Qs app, your Jira service desk becomes more flexible and easier to use than it has ever been. Creating custom queues for managing issues, you can be sure that your team is working on the right requests at the right time, and with configuring the queue's visibility you can increase both the information flow and the project security level. And what's important, the app is plug and play. You install it and are instantly ready to go with creating queues. I bet that your support team will spend most of their time working out of the queues you set up for them. That's why it is key that you find smart ways to manage your queues with their performance in mind. Our app provides a simple way to extend the functionality of Jira Service Desk and thus to help boost your team's output. They might receive even thousands of inquiries daily, but when they are all neatly structured and easily searchable without hours of needless scrolling, our Qs app actually makes a great part of the work done for them. Believe us, they will surely be grateful for such relief. One of the most common questions about Qs for Jira Service Desk is how to copy multiple Qs from other projects quickly. You can do it within the Import window, choosing the Select All option or checkboxing just the ones you need. People are also concerned if the hidden queues remain hidden for other users as well. The answer is no. Moving a queue into the hidden folder doesn't have any impact on its visibility to other users, even if it's done by a Jira administrator, unlike restricting the visibility of a queue to a certain group which only administrators can do. Another issue that our app's users report is that the SLAs are not visible to the users group even if included into the queue. Unfortunately, this is restricted by Jira itself. SLA metrics are visible only for users with a Jira Service Desk agent global permission. If you consider enhancing your Service Desk performance even more, check out other apps by Divinity at their Pleasure Marketplace. With Translation 2, you can boast fully multilingual customer portals. This one features translating every custom field in your project and translate common text just once for multiple projects. The Actions app enables to automate frequent workflow actions on transitions as post functions. And our extension for Jira Service Desk is a feature bundle for advanced security management, dynamic forms and multi-level structures creation, as well as metrics display management within the customer portal. Want to know more? We are blogging about what we do at divinity.com. The user docs, information about the events we take part in and the webinars we host are available at the support webpage. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Follow Divinity Apps by the links you see on the screen to track the latest news from our company and the Atlassian ecosystem. In case of inquiries regarding our products, please get in touch with the Divinity support team by emailing at support at divinity.com. Goodbye and have a nice day!